We continue to bring you some reaction to the resignation of National Assembly Speaker Nosiviwe Mapisa Ngakula. We broke in now, Dr. Alex Mashilo, who is the Central Committee of the SACP, joining us now to discuss this matter. A very good evening to you. Thank you so much for your time, Dr. Mashilo. Given the pressure from opposition parties, would you say that this uh, resignation is one which we could have preempted? Dr. Now, the reason, it will be wrong to attribute the resignation to pressure. Yes, I hope you can hear me. Yes, yes, we can. It will be wrong to attribute the resignation to... Yes, it will be wrong to attribute the resignation to pressure from opposition parties. Because that will be to ignore that there was a court process. And as a result of that court process, there is a judgment and that the Speaker of the National Assembly had to reflect on what to do based on the judgment that is now out there. It is quite clear, as she states in her resignation, that the matter has to go to an appropriate forum and that she must focus on addressing the widely publicized allegations against her in an appropriate forum. What we do know is that, um, you know, the resignation, um, Mapisa Ngakula has spoken quite a great deal on upholding the integrity of parliament um, and saying that it is not an admission of guilt, but of course uh, looking at upholding the integrity of parliament. Would you say with this move and these uh, graft allegations that uh, parliament's reputation may have suffered a dent? Look, uh, she is uh, the Speaker of the National Assembly, so she is not just uh, Nosidi Mapisa Nabula. And given that she was, until her resignation, the Speaker of the National Assembly, every time the allegations were mentioned, the fact that she was the Speaker of the National Assembly was mentioned. And it is quite clear that she was sensitive to that, because in her resignation, she says that uh, in the light of the widely publicized allegations against her, which she wants to dedicate time to address in an appropriate forum, she cannot continue to serve as the Speaker of the National Assembly. The National Assembly is a state organ mandated to make laws and it plays an important role in holding the executive to account. That function will be very difficult to play for the Speaker of the National Assembly, given the allegations that were leveled against him. That is not to take away the legal principle that when you face allegation, you are presumed innocent until or unless proven guilty, which is a point she emphasizes in her resignation. And in anticipation of what could happen, and based on the fact that the ANC has adopted resolutions as well as guidelines on step aside, supported by the SACP and other alliance partners, it is clear that she is quite sensitive to the comprehensive spirit of those resolutions in anticipating what now will happen following the court judgment. Mm -hmm. In, as we make um, the well, as we anticipate what the next moves could be, what are your thoughts around uh, some of the suggestions and the spotlight now being on law enforcement officials, how they need to act? I mean, there's been calls for them to now move with speed, but of course, we're yet to find out when exactly the arrest will be made. The, the law enforcement authorities must move at an appropriate speed, not only in this case, but in all other cases. And they have to ensure that they are not selective and biased in the way they work, because their conduct in performing their work impacts on the substance of the work that they perform. When you deal with matters like this, you look at procedure as well as substance. And I'm sure they are sensitive to that. They have to perform their work without fear or favor and without bias uh, as part of uh, the principle of performing their work without favor.